Hey everyone, I'm making this video just to give an update on, you know, what I've been going through and because doctors already told me exactly what it is that I have. So the disease that I have is called dermatomyositis and that causes my immune system to attack my bones, skin, and joints. So I have pain in like my hands, my knees, my feet. But I ended up getting a type of myositis called MDA5, which also causes my immune system to attack my lungs. So that's why I'm having like trouble breathing. And that's why I need to use oxygen because if I move or stand up, my oxygen drops a lot. So I, I need to have disconnected and I already received the medication I need, but it's going to take months for it to start working. And from there, uh, no one really knows what's going to happen. Some people who get this do uh, recover but others have said that they stayed like like this forever and then um i think like half of the people who get this disease end up dying so yeah at this point you know anything can happen and since i'm gonna be dis disabled for a while i applied for the government here in mexico so i could receive uh money but it's it's really not a lot it's like 35 percent of minimum wage and Minimum wage is already really low in Mexico, so... But, I mean, it's better than nothing. I think what I'm gonna do if I don't recover is look for an American wife <laughs> so that I can get citizenship and be getting paid from the U.S. government, who gives a lot more. <laughs> but, yeah, obviously, I would prefer to be able to recover because I live in a small town that is not wheelchair-friendly, so I, I need help for everything. And I can't go out because, you know, like I said, it's not wheelchair-friendly. Now, when I went to the U.S. on a wheelchair, I remember it was great. I had no problem. I was able to go to, like, any store, any place. There was elevators. There was lower ramps for people with wheelchairs. So, yeah, if I, if I don't recover, I'm going to look for a way to uh, get citizenship. But the only way is probably going to be with marriage because they're not going to want to accept a disabled guy. They're going to be like, he's just here for money. <laughs> so, yeah, I, uh, I receive... A, uh, an injection dose in like two weeks but again it takes like months for it to start working and there, there's not really a lot of information on this disease because of how rare it is i i went on facebook to look for support groups and the dermatomyositis the group only has like a thousand people and then the there's a group for people who got the one i got which is the one that that attacks the lungs and there's only like 300 people in that group so yeah, there's, there's not a lot of information. And right now, we just have to wait and see what happens. I started doing strength training because apparently that helps. Like like small weights, resistance bands, little bike pedals. And uh, I ordered online this little like, lung training machine. You like blow on it and it raises a, a ball. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my best to, to heal my body too. And, you know, hopefully things work out. So... Yeah, that's my that's my current situation right now. I miss making videos, but right now, if I talk a lot, I I I lose my my oxygen, and it's and losing oxygen feels really bad. But yeah, thanks to everyone who has commented, the people who sent donations, they really helped a lot. And you know, hopefully, I can be back soon.